I'd like to give a shout out, a special shout out we have with us here, our new Republican GOP Chairman of Queens, Bob Hammer. continue with our uh, dinner program uh, and we're going to call up our uh, councilman Eric Ulrich uh, to do the first presentation because I, I believe he has to leave soon but this is a very special uh, event in the dinner program uh, we had two beloved members of our board uh, who passed away last year Harvey Moda and Rabbi Morton Pomerantz we came up with the idea, we wanted to memorialize their names somehow at this Lincoln dinner. So what we did, we named two of our awards, which will be uh, annual awards to outstanding members of our community, uh, the Harvey Moda Lifetime Achievement Award and the Rabbi Morton Pomerantz Veteran of the Year Award. And first I'd like to call up our councilman, uh, Councilman uh, Ulrich, Come on up. He's our only uh, Queens uh, Republican elected official, and soon going to be surrounded by many more Republican elected officials in Queens. Some of them are sitting in this room, folks. So here he is. Thank you. Thank you, Phil. Uh, you said my name so many times, I don't know if you were trying to forget it or I was trying to remember it. But uh, my friends, we finally have peace in the valley. And all of the battles of the bygone era have been laid to rest. And I know that with my friend and your friend, Bob Turner, at the helm of our party, we will be united like never before. The Republican Party in Queens is a lot like the Italian family that I grew up in. Very dysfunctional. We didn't agree all the time. Sometimes we didn't like each other. We stopped talking to each other for so long that at a certain point we forgot why we stopped talking in the first place. But if you know anything about an Italian family like so many other close-knit immigrant groups, the family sticks together. And that's the only way this is going to work, is when the family sticks together and realizes that we're part of one family, and instead of fighting with each other, we have to start fighting with the Democrats and work together so we can start winning some elections again. that is going to happen and that we are going to come together in a way like we never have before and I will not be the only Republican elected official for long from Queens County because with Bob Turner's leadership and Bill de Blasio's failures, <laughs> we are going to win back seats that we had and take seats that we've never had previously. So I am just thrilled. I am just thrilled to be here because I know that this club and the people in this room are going to lead the path to victory, and it is going to start today, it doesn't end today, and, uh, and I want to, for one, thank you for everything that you've done for me, but everything that you're going to do in the future to elect more Republicans to public office in Queens County and around the city. Now, uh, they asked me to uh, perform a very uh, special honor today, and that is to introduce someone who I have known for a very long time, uh, Catherine James. Catherine James, you can clap, please. Kathleen James really is the epitome of public service. She is someone who has dedicated her entire life to the betterment of others, to the betterment of children in her community from her time on the school board way back when. I won't say when, but uh, that was a while ago. Uh, and then she also was the longest serving deputy chief clerk at the Queens Board of Elections. Uh, and she was the first woman of color to ever hold that position. Catherine uh, brings so many skills and talents to the Republican Party um, at a time when, quite frankly, we don't have enough of them. Uh, we are so much better off today because of all of the dedication and hard work that Catherine James has put into this party that it was possible for people like me to get elected in the first place. But I wasn't the only one. Catherine was instrumental in the re-election campaigns of our former uh, chairman and state senator, Sir Maltese. Uh, she was incredibly, incredibly helpful in all the battles that our good friend Senator Padavan had to go through, and she made sure that the recounts 
were done justly and fairly and that the Democrats couldn't simply run off with the absentee ballots and lock them in a room because God knows they tried. <laughs> she was so supportive of Mayor Giuliani when he was in office. By the way, don't you miss Rudy? Yeah. I know I do. May, uh, Governor Pataki was uh, so grateful to Catherine that uh, he honored her on several occasions. This is all detailed in her biography. I'm not going to uh, recite it from memory. I just happen to know her as a wonderful person, a mother, a grandmother, a wife, uh, but just an outstanding Republican woman. And we are so grateful that you selected her to be honored today with the Harvey Motor Lifetime Achievement Award. Quite frankly, I can't think of anyone more deserving. So without further ado, I have the honor of presenting and calling up your Lifetime Achievement Award recipient, the Honorable Catherine James. Thank you. 